What's good, sneakerheads? It's your boy J.R. Williams, a.k.a. J's for Days. Those who don't know me, I am a vintage sneaker collector and restoration professional. You can find a few of my um, restoration articles on sportsunbiased.com. So, you know, go there if you want to check that out. But I do want to thank you guys for requesting more videos. I promise to keep them coming. Just make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe. That way you can get instant updates on videos, okay? Let's get right into uh, my video diary number two, which features a pair of Air Jordan 9 IX True Reds. These are retro, uh, came out in uh, 2010. Now, if you're looking at these shoes, these are a size six and a half. These are too small for me, let's just say it like that. Uh, now, we're a size 11, which means that these kicks are strictly for restoration and more than likely, uh, probably going to resell them. Let's talk history on the Jordan uh, 9. Now, the original Jordan 9 was released in 1993. This is the same year that Michael Jordan announced his first retirement from the NBA. And, you know, being a Chicago native, I was highly devastated at, at you know, the announcement. I pretty much didn't know what to do with my life. But, you know, anyway, more facts about this sneaker is, according to sources, Jordan never wore these in an actual game. So what are we doing today? Well, if you take a look at the sneaker, I've already stripped most of the um, old paint from the midsole. You see right here? Uh, wrong hand. Right here. Stripped a lot of paint off of the um, midsole because it was all chipped and cracked. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them. Clean the suede because it's 90% uh, suede. Clean these bad boys uh, with some suede cleaner. After the uh, cleaner dries and the shoe is dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to repaint. I'm going to repaint this entire midsole black. And I may come at the bottom of the shoe. And I may, uh, I think I am. I'm going to repaint the Jordan sign. Get rid of some of these rocks and shit or whatever. So let's check out a video. I'm going to show you all close up on the sneaker so you can see the before and after. So let's catch on a few. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back, sneakerheads. Um, we are in the area where I'm going to be performing my cleaning. I'm going to clean a suede is what I'm going to do. So what do we have? We have suede cleaner, got some hot water and a toothbrush, and we got a damp towel, very damp. Squeeze all that water out of this too, make sure you get all the water out of it. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean the suede. Shouldn't take that long, I mean the suede is it's in pretty good condition. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to show you what I do. I mean, if you don't know how to clean suede, this is for you, for those who know how to clean suede. I mean, this isn't for you. You know, so what I'm going to do is dip the toothbrush in the cleaner, get it nice and soaked. Come over here to the water, dip it in the water a little bit, tap it, come over here to the suede, and just start at, uh, you know, start any way you want, but make sure you start a small area. And just work your way around. Work the way around. Now it's kind of hard for me to clean and hold this freaking phone. So what I'm gonna do is just you know show you the general idea of cleaning the suede, getting that foam in there, getting a nice foam, foam action. You know, get that in there. Come back with the towel. All you gotta do, come back, wipe the suede. Look at that. Look at how clean that looks after only, you know, a couple seconds of uh, using the toothbrush. And that's all you want to do. You want to do this for the whole shoe. You know, perform this action for the entire shoe. Dip, dip, and come back over here. Clean. Nice circular motion. It's not hard, people. Not that hard. So. Again, come and wipe it with the towel. 
Look at that, man. That's good. That looks real good. You can see I missed a spot right here. Let's come back. Dip. Dip. Clean. We're gonna speed through this video. I'm gonna clean this whole side, but we're gonna fast forward through this entire video. What's good, sneakerheads? Uh, we are back and we are at the final phase of the sneaker restoration. We're gonna get ready to paint the midsole and we restore the jump man on the bottom. So I got my black paint, got my fire red paint, got my cup of water, got my brush. So to clean it. Couple paper towels down here, you know, just so, just in case I don't make a, I don't want to make a mess or whatnot. So, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start on this sneaker. We're gonna paint the whole midsole black. Like I said, it still look kind of shiny, but if you look a little closer, you can see where it needs to be repaired. Look at that. So here we go. I'm not gonna show you the whole session because I'm holding the camera and this shit is annoying. So what I will do is I'll show you the first process. Here we go, let's see if I can get this. You can start from anywhere. You can start from the front. You can start from over here. I choose, I'm gonna start from, from over here since the shoe is facing, facing uh, my angle. So there we go, look at that. Usually you can put tape, you can tape all this up. I'm not gonna do all that because you know I've been painting for a while and I'm not too worried about messing anything up. So look at that. There we go. Make sure you spread that paint too. You don't want that paint thick. Get that paint spread all the way across. Thin it out. Spread it across. Let me hit this area too. Uh, can I get it? Mm -hmm. Spread that paint. Get it spread across. You don't want no streaks and stuff. Kind of be light with it. It's kind of heavy handed, so it's kind of tough for me. Uh, I'm gonna get a GoPro, something that I can strap onto my, um, you know, put on my head or whatever. I may even hit this too, the bottom part. And again, this is a small brush, but if you look at it, it's really, it's putting a lot of paint on here. And you want to spread that paint. It dries quick too, so you got to be quick. Spread that paint across. There we go. Midsole need to be clean, but when we come back, you're gonna see the whole, the finished product. You can already see the difference. Here, look at this. One. So we'll see you back in a couple minutes. Peace. All right, y'all. I am back after cleaning the um, the suede and restoring, uh, painting the midsole. This is the finished product. Check it out. Here's a look at the midsole. Nice and clean. Suede's looking clean. I may go back and clean the suede 
this black part one more time because I was kind of in a hurry during the tutorial. So I'm probably going to go back and clean that again. But overall, I mean, I'm really happy with this uh, with this restoration. I got a couple little pieces of thread and stuff that I'm going to cut out. Nothing serious. Um, again, check out the midsole, man. It's, it's Everything is looking real, really good on this sneaker, man. And like I told you, I was going to come back and repaint that um, the Jordan part, or the Jumpman. Came in, fixed that. And I'm really happy with that. I mean, it's the bottom of the shoe. So, I mean, you know, I still got a couple rocks and stuff. I'm going to get up out of from under it. But overall, man, I mean, looking in, uh, I think, in the first video, well, it's, you can still see that little, little bit of red. But I'm telling you, this is just because the light is shining on it. But you can barely see that. And I'm, I, like I said, I'm going to go back. I'm going to probably run through one more cleaning of these, you know. To clean them, it took me like five minutes to shoe. It, it didn't take me that long. Again, this was just a quick run through. A really quick run through of um, the tutorial. And everything. Like I said, I got, I got a couple rocks in here and stuff that I'm going to come back and take out. Right, can I get that in my finger? No, I can't. Yeah, I got it. Again, you know, these came out really nice, man. If you look at the before and after shots of the sneaker, man, I'm really, really happy with this restoration. So, you know, the finished product is really nice on these, man. And again, you know, this is a uh, six and a half. So, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear these. I'm gonna probably get rid of them. You know, I don't think my I don't even think my son can fit these shoes. I think my well, he's probably about a seven. And my older son, he he's shit, he his his feet are bigger than mine. Overall, great restoration. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and rate my restoration on a scale of one to ten. What do you think? This is your boy Jace for days. Catch y'all in the next diary. Peace.